Ship are on the lookout for a would-be kidnapper. CBS 2's Mike Puccinelli joins us now with the latest information on this disturbing case. Mike, this is really upsetting for all parents. It certainly is. They have some pretty good tips that they're working on right now to see if they can get to the bottom of it. But so far, whoever tried to kidnap a 15-year-old girl in southwest suburban Lockport Township a little more than 52 hours ago is still on the loose. Rise around 6.30 Monday morning. That's when a teenage girl was standing at a school bus stop near the intersection of Green Garden Place and Riley and Oak Avenues, when she says a man attempted to snatch her off the street. The 15-year-old says he got out of his car, grabbed her around the waist, and attempted to force her into his vehicle. She was able to break free and run away. David Gaddy walked fourth grader Marshawn McCollum to school this morning in the same area as a favor to the youngster's mom. I was just relaxing, but his mother called because she's at work. He's terrified to walk to school because of the stuff that's going on. So I volunteered to walk him to school this morning. How does it make you feel to know that uh, he's helping you out? I feel so happy. Makes you feel safe? Yes. <laughs> Now, the would-be kidnapper was driving a small silver four-door sedan with large rust spots, especially on the trunk. The vehicle did not have a license plate on it during the abduction attempt. Now, police are checking surveillance video in the area to see if any cameras captured images of the car or of the man who was described as older with gray hair. Now, the school district has made special arrangement with the girl's family so that the, she can be picked up elsewhere. Anyone with information, of course, is asked to call the Will County Sheriff's Department as they continue to investigate and saturate the area with vehicles. I hope they get them, Mike. Thank yeah. you. Mike, thank you.